Today on Delta Safari, we're on the gentle waters of Blakely River and the beautiful Mobile Bay as we are cruising for gators. I'm your host, Stu Donald. Let's head to the Delta. Hey Delta, what year did the Spanish first discover Mobile Bay? Tristan de Luna y Arellano of Spain first sailed to Mobile Bay in 1559. However, Madoc Ab Alain Winnet was a Welsh prince who purportedly explored Mobile Bay as early as 1170 AD. Hey, this is Stu, and I am at Five Rivers Delta Resource Center. Today is supposed to be the debut of my new inflatable kayak. However, when I got to the kayak launch, I saw this, a cruise ship. And I thought, why not let them do the work for me? So I'll probably get to the inflatable kayak tomorrow or maybe Tuesday. We're in for a, a good little string here of beautiful weather. So today I'm gonna hit this cruise and I'm gonna join a bunch of other people and we're gonna head to the Delta. Nobody knows the waters of the scenic and historic Mobile Tensaw Delta better than the licensed captains of historic Blakely State Park's Delta Explorer. The park is the Lower Delta's longest running boat tour operator and offers regular excursions into what is referred to by many as one of America's natural wonders. They invite you to journey with them by boat through these tranquil waters and discover this incredibly diverse ecosystem. Here you will find a variety of wetland habitats that are home to the state's largest population of alligators, black bears, the rare red-bellied turtle, ospreys, bald eagles, and numerous species of fish. Multiple guided cruises explore this stunning natural habitat along with nationally important historic sites, including locations associated with the Civil War's Mobile Campaign and the modern Port of Mobile, one of the nation's busiest harbors. You can experience it all from the comfort of the Delta Explorer, which is what I'm fit to do. So we're gonna head out over to the Blakely River and then go down to uh Mobile Bay and check it out. It's a nice day Wednesday. Mobile Bay is a shallow inlet of the Gulf of Mexico shaped like the butt of a rifle. Its mouth is formed by the Fort Morgan Peninsula on the eastern side and Dolphin Island on the western side. The Mobile Tensaw Delta empties into the northern end of the bay creating one of the most important estuaries in North America. Mobile Bay is 413 square miles in area. It is 31 miles long with a maximum width of 24 miles. The deepest areas of the bay are naturally located within the dredged shipping channels, sometimes in excess of 75 feet, but the average natural depth of the bay is only about 10 to 15 feet. Alligators eat mostly fish. People think that they're some kind of massive dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, you know, but uh, really, they don't mess with anything. The American alligator is the only species of alligator that exists in Alabama. Distribution of the American alligator in Alabama is typically limited to the southern half of the state, mostly due to habitat and temperature requirements. Higher densities of alligators occur in wetland habitats such as coastal marshes, natural lakes, riverine wetlands, and some reservoirs. 
Habitat in the northern half of the state is marginal. However, increased sightings in these areas may indicate a northern expansion of their historic range. Unregulated alligator harvest throughout the south in the early 1900s threatened the species with extinction. Alabama played a leading role in the restoration of the American alligator, a national conservation success story. The Mobile River, Spanish River, Tensaw River, Blakely River, and the Appalachian River. These are the five rivers that make up the Delta. The confluence of these five rivers forms Mobile Bay. Where the Delta and the Bay meet, you will find the Five Rivers Delta Resource Center, an incredible facility with an exhibit hall, learning center, theater, welcome center, hiking trails, picnic areas, conference center, and reception hall. I was 17. There you go. When I was 17 during the summertime. Five Rivers is home to the Bartram Canoe Trail System, which provides opportunities for recreational boaters, specifically canoeists and kayakers, to enjoy the rivers, streams, lakes, sloughs, and bayous of the Delta. Currently, the State Lands Division maintains day-use trails and overnight trails. There are land-based campsites as well as floating platform campsites available for the overnight routes on the Bartram Canoe Trail. The land-based camping areas are open to anyone on a first-come, first-served basis. The floating platform campsites are limited to groups no larger than eight and are available by reservation only. Reservations are limited to canoeists and kayakers. Five Rivers tackles the overwhelming problem of pollution in our waterways through education and information. It isn't mankind's progress that threatens the Delta, but rather mankind's carelessness. Through identification of the problems we all face, we can come together to work out solutions that satisfy everyone's concerns. The osprey was originally known as a sea eagle or sea hawk and was thought to be a member of one of these families. But modern DNA technology has revealed that the osprey is actually its own species of predator. Ospreys are large raptors having a wingspan from 57 to 69 inches. Depending on sex and physical condition, they can weigh from 42 to 70 ounces and at maturity reach lengths up to 23 inches. Ospreys have strong hooked beaks and large feet armed with extremely large talons to aid in the catching and eating of prey. Sexes are similar in appearance with females on average being about 20% larger than males. Ospreys are relatively long-lived birds of prey. Some have been recorded to exceed lifespan of 20 years. However, the osprey population declined sharply from the 1950s through the 1970s, mainly due to the widespread use of the pesticide DDT. DDT, when applied to agricultural crops, entered waterways from rain runoff and eventually into the food chain. The osprey in turn received the pesticide by ingesting fish. One effect of DDT was eggshell thinning and embryo death, resulting in poor reproduction success. The use of DDT was banned in the United States in 1970. This, along with protection, habitat improvement, nesting structure projects, and other positive conservation measures have greatly helped the osprey to multiply and expand its range. 
Today, healthy osprey populations are a tribute to modern conservation and an indicator of a healthier environment. The brown pelican and the American white pelican are the only pelican species that occur in Alabama. The brown pelican has a large range extending from North America to South America. At one time, the brown pelican was endangered in Mobile Bay, but thanks to conservation efforts and some transports from nearby Louisiana, the brown pelican in Mobile Bay is now another modern conservation success story. Well, how about that for an excursion? That was beautiful, wasn't it? And all the wildlife, so many gators, so many gators. But uh, that was really great because it gave me a chance to show you a whole lot more of this, this little area of the Delta a lot faster than I could in the kayak. But don't worry, I'm gonna get out there in the kayak too, probably tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. All right, you know what? I think I need something to eat. Let's see what we can dig up. Okay, so I started out going to the bluegill, and they were on a long way. So then I drove next door to Original Oyster House, and they were on a longer way. So I rode up into Spanish Fort, and I'm trying the Spanish Fort location of my favorite restaurant in New Orleans, which is Mandina Brothers. Oddly enough, it's an Italian restaurant, but it's an Italian restaurant that does some of the best Creole food in all of Louisiana. And this is my first time trying the location they have here in Alabama. And so I got the dish that made me fall in love with Mandita Brothers. That's their trout in here. It's the best in New Orleans. I have a feeling now it's going to be the best in the state of Alabama.
Oh, 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 oh. First thing I want to do is take a little fry here. Dip it in the sauce. Oh. I love this dish. The lemon squeeze. Even if I have to import it in. That was terrific. And there was nothing left on my plate. I was so hungry when I came in here. But now I think it's time for a nap. Mandina's Restaurant, 25,000 Bass Pro Drive, Spanish Fort, Alabama. Hey y'all, Luke the Talking Dog. Hey, if y'all tap like and subscribe, click both of the buttons. You know what I'm saying? Click it! <laughs>